So now I'm gonna show you a muscle approximation technique on the gastrox. Uh, muscle approximation works on the muscle belly because we're trying to um, we're trying to inhibit the muscle spindle cells. So the muscle spindle cells detect stretch and velocity of stretch in a muscle. And uh, if we bring two ends together, we relax the muscle spindle cells and they send a message to the brain saying, there's no stretch on this muscle, we're okay to relax. Um, and then you'll have a reflexive relaxation in the muscle. So it, it reduces or inhibits gamma motor neuron firing. When we do this technique, we again can't use oil. We don't want to be sliding on the skin. We want to make sure that we uh, really tack into the place that we're, the muscle that we're trying to attract or that we're trying to work on. And we want to use only maybe like a smaller section of that muscle. So it wouldn't be very effective if I pincer grasped on either side of the gastrox and tried to do this technique. It works better when our hands are fairly close together. And uh, so I'm using a pincer grasp with this. So I'm basically, I could grab both sides of the gastrox at the same time, or maybe it was only the medial head of the gastrox that was, uh, that had some issues with it. So I could grab the medial side or the lateral side. Uh, you have to figure out which muscle is affected. And we're generally using these techniques because we can't work directly on the tendon. And there's a muscle spasm in the muscle and we want to relax the muscle. Maybe there's some chronic tendonitis or some inflammation or a rupture or some kind of something going on with the tendon that makes us unable to work on the tendon. So instead we're choosing to work on the muscle belly and focus on the muscle spindle cells instead. So I'm gonna show you this technique on the gastrox. So I'm coming in with a pincer grasp. I take a second to sink into the tissues here. Make sure I have a good grasp on it. And again, you would do this on an exhale. So I'll get her to take an inhale. And on the exhale, I am going to push the muscle together. So I'm not sliding on the skin. You wanna make sure you're not sliding on the skin because that won't do anything. We're trying to affect the muscle spindle cells as we remember there in the intra, um, intra, intra fibers of the muscle. Yep. <laughs> you watch the lecture, you know, you understand what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Okay, so we're creating an approximation here. We're squeezing the muscle. And again, we're gonna hold until we feel the muscle relax. And what that normally feels like is that your hands will come closer together. Um, you may, it, it's quite a, it can be a very um, subtle sensation. So you really need to make sure you're concentrating here, working um, in quiet, not talking with your client. You really need to connect to the tissues and what you're doing here in order to sense these sensations when you're just beginning. So make sure that you're taking this quite seriously and uh, making sure you're feeling some things here. So 30 to 60 seconds or until the muscle relaxes. Sometimes with muscle spindle techniques, it takes a little bit longer to feel that relaxation. So don't worry if a minute's passed and you haven't felt it yet. But when you do feel that relaxation happen, then you come out slowly and release slowly as we do with all of these techniques. Um, and then we've created relaxation in the gastroc muscle.